Hello Aries. Aries, welcome to your reading. We're going to be looking at the messages that the divine is wanting to give you at this present moment in time. We're going to be seeing the blockages and the challenges that the divine is wanting to bring to your attention. Wow, Aries. It seems like you are dealing with someone who is a repeat offender. The divine is saying that you're dealing with someone who is always making grand promises about how they are going to change. You're dealing with someone who knows how to come and beg and plead so that you open up your heart, your mind, your soul, and even your bed. And the divine is saying, why? For you, it is important that you understand that this person actually creates a lot of blockages in your life. Because they take a lot of energy, they absorb a lot of energy and power away from you. Especially when they just get up and leave. After you have given them a second, third, fourth, fifth, a hundred chances. So the divine is saying, be very mindful of these people or this person. Because for you, you are just wasting your time and your energy. If they have acted in a similar pattern, what makes you think? That they are going to change the weaknesses in the weakness position you're having our card which is indicating that for some of you you really know who this person is you really know what this situation that the divine is talking about and you feel conflicted about the decisions that you are going to have to make you feel conflicted about maybe opening up your home opening up your heart and giving this person a second chance there's a conflict that is there and the divine is saying that this is bringing an energy of weakness. So if you're currently feeling conflicted, connected to a situation, a person, then the divine is saying, look at the patterns, look at the repeating patterns, and they are going to tell you exactly what is going to happen in the future. Because I always tell you that life makes sense. When you look backwards, you're able to spot the different patterns and then you're able to predict what's going to happen in the future. So the divine is saying, be very careful and mindful about just giving someone a third, a fourth chance when their track record is very blemished. It's okay to forgive and to move on, but there is a moment where you need to realize that you're getting stuck in a karmic cycle and it is up to you to break that karmic cycle and to stop, keep on listening to all the excuses, all the explanations at some point, that card has to expire. Otherwise, this person will carry on just going around in a merry-go-round and it's never ending. What you need to release and let go, you're having our card, which is saying to you, love this, Aries. Just because you might believe that you're in a twin flame relationship, that this person is your soulmate, this isn't a good reason to tolerate disrespect. You need to understand just because someone is a twin flame or a soulmate that not everything is just going to be a bed of roses. Sometimes twin flames and soulmates are the very same people that are meant to teach us painful lessons so that we liberate ourselves, so that we free ourselves, so that we go in a new direction. So be mindful of allowing people to use you, allow people to abuse you, just because you're twin flames or soulmates, okay? In your strength position, what is coming up? Your strength position, love this. You are now not feeling conflicted anymore. You are now taking inspired action. After you took some time to think, to listen, after you took some time to deliberate, you finally realized that you gave this situation, this person, enough chances and now it is time to take that sort of truth and finally eliminate them out of your life. Your blind spots, what you can currently see, you're having our card where the divine is saying that your guides are trying to give you a message right now. You are being divinely guided and sometimes you remain in situations because of fear. But now, as you're starting to see the truth by looking back and spotting the patterns, you're now starting to understand that this situation is not going to turn out for your highest good. There is someone who is here who is benefiting from your kindness, from you being an empath, you being soft. 
but don't let that be used against you. Because sometimes when you're dealing with people who are good at manipulating people, who are good at reading people and know how to take advantage of them, this is when you get stuck in that loop until you finally learn that lesson and then you cut those cords, you release yourself and you start going in a new direction. The best course of action, you're receiving our card, which is saying, of course, Aries, this is your human experience and you decide what happens next. But if you decide to keep on opening up your heart, to keep on opening up your home, to keep on giving a situation more chances than it deserves, you are going to be later on, be looking back and be in pain again, questioning how and why this happened, questioning why you allowed this repeat offender back into your life again. So trust your gut feeling and your gut instincts and don't let yourself be ruled by the heart. Don't let the heart make you feel that you have to be the nice person all the time. You have to be the one who's giving people chances all the time. When the pattern is, you will get used. And then later on, you are left feeling like this disappointed, heartbroken with so many questions asking why. Why did you do this to me? When you were at your lowest, when you had nowhere to go, I gave you a chance time and time again. And understand that this doesn't have to be a love situation because the twi twin flame or a soulmate doesn't have to be someone that we are romantically linked to. It goes much deeper than that. So the divine is saying to you, trust your intuition, trust your instincts as you're making some decisions. Okay, don't rush into anything, especially if right now you're feeling conflicted. Your instincts will drive, guide you in the right direction. So many messages that are coming up because there's a lot of feeling and emotions that are involved here. What you need to know, our last oracle card, what you need to know. The divine is saying it is now time to learn and to see that once a snake, always a snake. They might try to hide. They might try to present themselves like they've changed. But it is time to see the ugly truth for what it is. It is time to realize that you are dealing with a repeat offender. And it is now time to, for you to listen to the truth rather than keep on falling for the same old lies over and over again. Because someone is good at making their lies sound sweet. And you then feel conflicted about what you need to do. And then before you know it, you're back in their arms. You're back in that job situation that you know deep down in your heart and in your soul that it is toxic. You're back to giving a situation another chance. So your guides and your ancestors are saying to you, okay, Aries, right now you are being divinely led to see the truth for what it is so that you don't make another karmic mistake that later on you kick yourself because you should have trusted your intuition, but rather you let your heart rule you and because you listen to your heart, you end up in these painful situations that we already spoke about. So if you're understanding what this message is all about, I want you to comment triple seven in the comment section below. Aries, we're going to get a tarot card on the table before I let you go. And as I get our tarot card, I want to remind you that I have our TikTok Life spiritual cleanse sessions that I am doing on a daily basis. Sometimes, though, they are getting sold out to private people wanting to book them as a group. But if they're not sold out as a group, I am doing live spiritual cleanses and I'm offering them at a discount price so that many people can have more opportunities to work with me and also have an opportunity to have cords and just energetic, energetic ties to be released and to be removed. So everything that you're going to need to know about the TikTok cleanse, which is going to be happening live or is happening live, everything that you need to know is linked in the description box below. And the price is really, really low like I said, to give as many people an opportunity to work with me.
So you can go on my website and you can have a look at all the five star reviews that are there. Your tarot card that you're receiving sees you going in a new direction, feeling so excited, so inspired, feeling like you're full of life because you finally made a decision that feels right. It might feel challenging and difficult making that decision, but deep down in your heart and in your soul, you know that it is the right thing to do. Even though you might be feeling judged, even though you might be feeling like you're letting someone down, you're disappointing someone. The divine is saying that at some point, you have to make the right decisions that actually lead you in directions where you don't have to deal with conflicting energies, self-sabotaging behaviors, repeat offenders that give you nothing but sweet little lies. Now it is time for you to see the ugly truth that is going to inspire you to take action like we already spoke about because the energies of the page is very much about being inspired and feeling like you know exactly what to do to go in a new direction so that life can finally be different. So this is the message that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up comment triple seven in the comment section below and for those of you who are wanting to do your spiritual cleanses i'm going to see you on tiktok which is linked in the description box below again i would highly highly recommend that you book in advance because they do get sold out just like that they're gone okay so i'm gonna see you on tiktok or in your next reading it is a goodbye from me